the tools have i mean there's literally you can like buy song templates yeah from the companies that do sample packs yeah and if you can like literally load up a template and just like change a little bit of everything and then legally release that yeah like that's literally by definition like the formula <laughs> yeah man so you end up with a bunch of like similar sounding stuff yep and with the likes of splice and all of that there was always sample packs before but sample but packs sample yeah. packs were hard to get like it was a process to get sample packs into your computer yeah. and it's like I've got to go buy it and download it or I've got to go put it on I bought the CD I've then got to put it in the CD burner and then go or through the magazine yeah and then go through every sound and label every sound and kind of put it like it's now it's easy it's yeah. easy I can download a preset and re restart serum and it's there and I'm making fucking MK bass lines simple as that and you're just like yeah. fuck like I didn't even have to do research on like the synth that it made. Like all I need to do is just type in like MK baseline or whatever. Like it takes the yeah. fun out of it. <laughs> and I think that's why I like having a bit of hardware. Yeah. Um, Cause it just, it's like, well, rather than finding a preset, like let's just load it up and just see what we can come up with. And maybe I'll go through presets on a hardware a little bit more because it's just like gives you a bit more it's just a bit more fun you're actually pushing buttons and shit rather than just like aimlessly yeah. hoping for uh, like limitations for me is really key definitely it's like the first thing i tell people is like don't buy anything for the next two years yeah. and get so good at what you have that it's just the ideas you're waiting for not like yeah. fiddling with tools and stuff yeah, get your money's worth out of everything. Yeah, and I think having hardware kind of teaches you how to, like, perform a little bit. Yeah. In the sense of production where, like, your songs feel like a performance in a way. Yeah. Whereas when you're... And you can do this in software. It's just easier to, like, get into the habit with hardware because you're forced to. Yeah, yeah. Totally. But I feel like that's kind of the difference in, like, the cookie cutter songs versus the non is like it was it a performance or did it just like seem like a bunch of stuff stacked together with no like life mm. or like personality yeah 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 but that's also like wh why i gravitate towards the genres that i play and, and make versus like more like loopy based stuff just because it, it feels like there's more behind it well there life. is more behind it generally there's yeah, more melodic there like is. yours is a much more melodical kind of and there's much more music behind it which yeah or just like even interesting sound design like like the afterlife i feel like right now they're almost like doubling back on big room in a way but the sounds are so much more interesting and weird and cool that it's like everyone's cool with it even though it's still like huge build up huge drop they just found a way to like do it in a way in, in a way that you're still exposing people to like new sounds and i feel like it's either you write good music and you do melodies or whatever and it's the musicality that drives it or you're still blowing people's mind with like just the sounds coming out of the speakers are you gonna hate me for saying it but it's just trance oh 100 percent. <laughs> i'm not like an afterlife fanboy by any means yeah. like it's big room it's trance i'm only glad that it is darker and the sounds are weirder because that's opening up that mainstream audience to yeah. the music that we make and like yeah it's just I, top, I, top of the funnel it's a better top of the funnel than david guetta was <laughs> it's different as well isn't it i think it, it yeah. hits a different demographic but like they all coincide with each other because they're so big like yeah. when black coffee does a record with david guetta like black coffee's crowd isn't a david guetta crowd but they are now yeah. kind of music those boys like now they produce drake's album their fans probably weren't drake fans but they are now yeah or vice versa but it's but i i think i mean maybe it's just the times have changed and and you can't compare them but i i'm happier that kind of music and black coffee and afterlife are driving the next generation versus whatever swedish house mafia was but